Okay. Hey, I mean, touch touch brother. Hey, I mean, you better be sure to make open cut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just finished watching it just now, and look, when we first came out, I was very excited, and I was the one. So, I thought we were watching the open cut for conclusion. This movie. What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh my god, look. Here's the thing. What is it a plot of movie? The plot is, well, Batman is mad, Superman, because we didn't get looked over trying to quit Doomsday, and you went away. What? It made no sense. This plot was a what the fuck. By the way, um, I, 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 I was going to see um, Bob um, Shulker for giving me a chance to read the movie on his channel because, well, I want to give him a chance So, this is for you, man. So, what is it? This plot made no sense. What type of cat? How many convinced you, man? How many convinced you, my, my man, still good? He's one of the best parts actually in this movie next to Ben Abbott Batman. In fact, in my personal opinion, Ben Abbott Batman, one of the best parts in the movie, yet he feels like Batman. He after Batman, he kicked out of Batman, he's Batman. Problem I have with this Batman is he killed people. Look, I'm fine with Batman killing people if there's a reason. If there's a reason for him to kill him going up the edge, fine. We don't do it, but the problem is there's no reason. We don't get a reason for him killing. There's no weapon to go in this movie, no weapon to do any other Batman ally except for Jin Todd Death. Which, again, we don't know how Jane Dunn died in the MS or whatever. And that's my problem in the movie. No, there's no way about him killing. Speaking of controversy, what's the what, 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 big opening? What's the Marvel scene? Okay, the Marvel scene. Where do I even begin? This Marvel scene still makes no sense to me. Like, even after all these years, it makes no sense. It's like, right. you're letting him kill Marvin, find him, save Marvin, like, I'm sorry, that makes no sense, e even in contact, it makes no sense, that's one of the stupid lines I've ever heard in my life, it's still, it's still garbage, still makes no sense, and it's nothing, it, we, I've been in about in two minutes, that's how they start the fight, because they both the same mother's name, wow, how stupid, George movies are garbage, Speaker, speaker has the, uh, what the fuck story. What, 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 what's, what's this, the whole group of plot with Tim trying to kill Superman? Why do you assume when he's humans? Hmm. Because God, it, it, bring it, it, it makes no sense. It's just a lot of philosophical nonsense. And Jenny Ivey is a terrible, terrible trooper. I agree, I agree with the critic in this one. Jenny Ivey is a terrible trooper. He won a weird part in this movie. His plot line. Make no sense. I, she's a terrible trooper, Marvin. If they want to get a good luck trooper, there's not a Jedi Army. Jedi Army makes more sense literally than luck trooper. That is my opinion. If people disagree with me, cool, more positive, but fucking I don't give a damn. This movie's just bad and quick cut the fuck. Speaking of cut the fuck, so that reminds me. Even, even with the open cut, it does have to explain some stuff with the whole, uh, the whole um, um, that is scene when the mercenaries kill basically all these soldiers, the fucking Superman. Cool. That, 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 that does from one plot hole. But as another plot hole, you know, they would, how, how did they not know it bullets? One, bullets don't, the Superman cannot do bullets. So, how, how did they not know no, no Superman? Actually, scrap that, we have to get that echo name, why, you know, they bring Superman because of the, of the actress, so that, um, Person who paid up by Luke Super to frame Superman. Ancient plan, but then that plan goes nowhere and that supply gets dropped because of reasons and then if we cut the fuck like look the open cut it does fix a lot of problems with the wood fiam cut did, but it just made more plot and more problem it, it makes any less sense. Speak of cut the fuck, what's gonna one of them support? What is that did that go out somewhere? It does, but for, for the final part of the movie, when you get to Devil Superman stuff, why would you do Devil Superman movie? Do the bad Superman, that Devil Superman movie. If I want to do Devil Superman, just do Devil Superman. Don't do it now. Save it for later. Oh, who am I kidding? I, I, at this point, I was didn't matter because this movie actually didn't do okay. It did well, but it was a complete point for a lot of people, including me. But I'm huge fan of these characters. But Zack Snyder really dropped the ball on this one. Drop that. Gore got the ball, Gore loved this crap. 
Don't get wrong. Snyder is a instant director, but he's a picture director, not a act, not a character director. Even with it's just Taylor's like writing, this cannot see the train wreck. Speak of, speak of train now, mommy. You know, let's get the old Judge Green scene with with Flash uh, with Aquaman. What does that do? Nothing. That goes no. That goes no. It, it seems like cram in into a Batman Superman movie, and it feels like it's out of Judge Green. In fact, this entire movie was out of Judge Green because it was out of Judge Green for the final movie in Snyder's five part movie, five part saga. Because he's going to play with the Man Steel. Then BBS, then after one of the Judge Street. It was supposed to be like a five part movie. No, not not five part movie, five part saga. Problem. You, you're trying to cram in a Judge Green movie into a BBS movie that will know and fear studio interference. Back to my parents, we wish you because it would make no sense. Even a story that could be cut the fuck. That is fine, I'll get the actors club, but they have nothing to work with. They Seems as useless. We just damn shit. Ben Alvin is great down. We don't want to put him but even she gets wasted. We just damn shit. Ben Alvin is a good actor, but they they keep wasting him. Oh, oh, oh! Always trying to act. The effects were fine. The effects were so good. As always, I'll get the first credit. Even they look comic act, that's pretty cool. But you really need to talk about it. This is gonna be train wreck. I feel a nightmare scene. Again, it said the dark side said the Judge Street, but it still makes no sense even in this movie because you have Flash going back in time and what? What does that even mean? What? what why not can't the Disney movie? Why not can't the Judge? Oh, who am I kidding? It, it's supposed to be right. It's going to Judge the Street. All the movie is Judge Street prequel to Judge the Street. But we all know Judge the Street went. <laughs> Battery, it sucked. Which is a damn shame because of Judge the Street. Not the movie, but the actual team, but they fucked the team real badly into this movie. God damn it. Ugh. Watch out, it's in there. for the ending, where it's caught with two men of body, but he had the dirt for the, the, the service. Yeah, spoiler alert, that, that scene did not go over to Judge Agree, but Judge Agree got cut to pieces. So all the stuff that happened in this movie doesn't matter. Mini is all left con out of existence in the Judge Agree and makes this movie pointless. Which again, proved to me the one thing I started with a bad trip and bad trip for the job, which is weird, man still did an okay movie in my opinion. But that's my opinion. If you disagree, cool my heart, me pretty even with the Omega, this movie just such a disappointment. Anyway, what to have out. Then it's pretty. So I'm gonna be waiting. Oh, yeah. Um, my reading waiting with a 3 out of 5 star. That means, but you know what? I'm gonna change my reading. I'll give me the only day. 2.5 out of 5 stars. Mostly because the open cut doesn't figure out the problems. But even with the open cut, it doesn't save this movie. It still could be cut the fuck. It makes no sense. It's a train wreck. And it's gonna be a disaster. Do I get in the camera with Ben Amick Diamond kicking ass? And y'all good, y'all good, one woman have given a shoe man and, and saving the day. Problem, Jim and dies, which again, not spoiled because you've seen me where you ain't know what, what happened to him. And I still maintain, Devil Superman should not be in this movie. If you want to do a change movie, fine, you're doing a change. Don't do Devil Superman. Devil Superman should be safe later. Not now. God, you're so stupid. Anyway, um, that's going to be your Batman Superman, your open cut, open edition. Sorry, sorry, he's away, but I need to get out of my system. I'm pretty darn caught him on TV, my channel, channel movie. Should I get through it? Also, um, what's your opinion on Batman? What's your opinion on Zack Snyder as a whole? Please comment below. Well. Also, on my computer, fine. Twitter, 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 Please subscribe to my channel and please subscribe to my channel. We're just gonna talk right there. Long live Batman v Super, long live Batman Superman, and one of my long good movies. DC, I hope you get out together because we're gonna do good movies like you do one with Aquaman and cut them all to be bad because of Sam. We have a good movie, so please get out together and I wish you luck for the future. No, I mean, so tell me, see ya. Bye. Long live good movies. See ya. Bye, DC. Please fix yourself. See ya.